In terms of whether a prosthesis is the best way forward for you, uh, that's a very personal decision. For me, I definitely wanted to be able to use a prosthesis, but there are definitely times when I can't use it for any number of reasons. Um, and then I make use of my wheelchair or sometimes my crutches, although often that's frowned upon by the physios. It really is down to you what you do in your own home. I think not having a prosthesis is actually liberating for some people. Some people just struggle so much with it, they decide that their life is better with a wheelchair or with crutches or something else. So just be open-minded. If you want a prosthesis, you can probably make that work for you um, over time, working with your prosthetist. Um, but don't worry if you want to use some other mode of transport as well. Don't be ashamed to have whatever form of help you need around the house. Don't feel like that makes you more disabled. Whatever you can do to make your life easier actually enables you more. Just do what works for you. It doesn't matter what other people do. Just do what you need to do. And over time, you'll work out what you need and what you don't need in your home to make life easier. I think I had this idea that because I was quite fit and because I was quite... Uh, sporty and active that I'd be able to walk really well quite fast with my above knee prosthesis. Um, the reality was quite different. I had a lot of pain for a long time. I think it's partly due to my socket not fitting great and me not knowing enough about how it should feel to be able to communicate well with the prosthesis so that she knew how to fix it. I remember being asked early on something like is your sock comfortable and I remember saying what's comfortable because it really wasn't but I didn't know how much it was meant to be comfortable or how much it's meant to hurt um I now know it's not meant to hurt generally it might be there might be certain levels of discomfort especially as you wear it for longer and it's never going to be as comfortable as a normal leg but yeah you're aiming for something that is relatively comfortable the best advice I was given early on by a fellow amputee was not to blame your prosthetist and get cross about what wasn't working, but to work with them and to just try and improve it bit by bit, to come back and tell them what you're experiencing um, and ask how they can help you. The more specific you can be about what the problem is, the better. So you can, um, if you can show them exactly where it's hurting, if you can tell them what it feels like, tell them if you feel like there's too much space, if you feel like you're rocking around in it, if it's digging in, show them exactly where it's digging in. If it digs in when you do a certain movement, tell them that, be really specific. The other thing is don't be afraid to ask for help. So if you've got an issue with your socket, call up your prosthetist, ask for an appointment or ask to talk to them. If you've got a problem with your walking and you just can't work out how to get to the next stage, call up and ask to see your physio. In terms of mobility, you know, I think, you know, in terms of different settings or what I use, um, really bad days, I'll use a wheelchair. Um, and then I use my crutches around the house. So when I get quite tired or um, my leg's quite painful um, in the mornings, it's really sensitive. So I'll use my crutches around the house with, with no limb um, in the morning and mostly the evenings. Um, and then in the day, I'm quite lucky enough that I work from home, so I don't wear my leg really um, at my desk or, or working. So it's what works for you, but yeah, there's, there's certainly different mobility options and some people don't actually understand that because, you know, I use a crutches every day and I've got a pair of crutches downstairs and a pair of crutches upstairs. And that's just, you know, something that I need to help me through. You know, I carried on with the physio. I carried on walking as much as possible with it until I could trial a microprocessor knee which i have now um which has completely life changed it it's it's brilliant you know i can walk as much as as 10k with it it's not you know it's it gets uncomfortable but i know i can take it off and put it at the side and i can use my crutches or i can take i can not use my crutches and i can use my wheelchair so you know having that choice there to be able to walk crutch or use my wheelchair is 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 brilliant for me really